How you doing on this episode, working with the Hayward Omni Logic. Today we're gonna to show you how to set your speed for your variable speed pump to get the right amount of flow for your heater to heat up just right. Okay, so here back at the panel, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and uh, hit your configuration, and then you're gonna hit your configuration wizard, and then you've, most likely you've already set up one, so you're gonna edit an existing configuration. You're gonna select next. Okay, you're gonna hit the bodies of water. Okay, and then typically you set up the heater on the pool side. So set up on the pool. You can do it also if you want it for, the, for your spa as well. Um, but here, we're gonna set it up for the pool side so it heats up both pool and spa at the same time since we're here working with a pool and spa combo. You're going to select your heaters. Now on your heaters, uh, we have a heat pump. Uh, you can also set up all the other different various types of uh, uh, heating elements that uh, either a gas heater or a solar heater, I'm pretty sure. Same uh, configuration. Go ahead and we're gonna select heat pump. Now here, here's we're gonna be putting where it says minimum filter speed, right here. On minimum filter speed, we've already tested out our heat pump. We have a um, an AquaCal heat pump, super quiet. So currently right now we have it running at 60% of uh, speed which for this filter pump, uh, this VS pump that we have, and all motors, the maximum that they run on is 3450. So to figure that out, all you simply do is, is take your 3450, multiply it by the 60%, and then you're gonna get your figure. This one right now is running at 2,070 RPMs in total, which is just a little bit more than, than half of the speed that this is running. So we're gonna go ahead for this one, we're going to uh, lower this down a bit and we're going to be setting it, I've already wanted it at around 1828. So that's right around 53% that we're going to be setting this filter pump back. So we're going to go ahead and hit our home back button and then we're going to press save. Yes, we want to save these new configurations. So as it goes through the saving mode, you will see that the panel will go ahead and uh, shut down. There it is. And then our pump will shut down. In a little bit. So basically the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure that we're not uh, rushing the water through the heat pump and we're allowing the heater to really uh, heat up the water as it's passing through. So right around that um, that RPM here, there it goes, it stopped. Right around that RPM, and you could test this out. We've already noticed that with our heat pump, the minimum amount that we're gonna need for the water to hit the, uh, the flow sensor on the inside of the heat pump is around 1,650 RPMs. That's about the minimum that uh, we're needing to flow through this heat pump. So we're gonna set it up just a little bit more to get a little bit more flow within the pool. It's priming up now. And uh, a little bit more through the pool and so that to still allow our vacuum cleaner to run. So there's different variables that you have that you wanna set up your, um, your speeds for your variable, spump, uh, variable speed pump. Uh, heater is one section. Um, if you're not heating up the pool, do you have a pool and spa combo? You want to bump it up a little bit more during the day to get that flow. Um, second thing, you have a uh, automatic suction vacuum cleaner on the on online and independent line. You need to have that at a, at a certain amount for the for the vacuum cleaner to run. So these are all different steps and variables that you can go through to testing out the speeds required for the different uh, equipment that you have on your swimming pool. heating up and then you can go through on your app and when you select so right now it's probably if I don't have the heater selected but on your app once you go ahead and you select heater you're gonna notice that it's gonna override your schedule and it's gonna go to that specific speed that you had set at so that you're gonna continuously keep um, heating up your pool at that speed that you have already preset 
Hopefully you liked this video and we brought some knowledge and some information to you that you're a little bit more educated regarding the Hayward OmniLogic uh, versus a variable speed pump, the speeds to set it at for the different equipment that you have. On this episode, we're learning more on the heat pump side and learning our minimums required for our heat pump and just what we want. And here it goes, it's lowering down to the, to the speed that we have set, lowering the, the RPMs to the required settings that we're gonna need for the heat pump. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe my page, give me the thumbs up. Uh, hit that red subscribe button for me, please. We need all your support and hit the bell notifications to be notified on the next time that we upload our next video. Again, on to the next one. Bye.